Hey everyone, welcome to episode 2 of our looter tutorial. Uh, today we're going to change our little looter item here to actually spit out some loot and we'll be able to use that for all our future lessons and use them as our items. So we can walk up to them, we can use them, we can interact with them and so on and so forth. Uh, so, the first thing we're going to need to do is we are going to need to. Where the hell did that just go to? We're going to have to uh, set up a new blueprint. So, we're going to go right click, blueprint, and actor. And we're going to call this our loot item BP. Uh, open it up and make sure it's tabbed. Bar and save straight away, and in here we're going to change the variable. We're going to give it the item details, which is going to be the item struct, which we can add to later. Compile. We're going to click on the I, make it uh, editable, and we're also going to expose on spawn. Compile and save. Uh, for components, we're going to add a sphere, and we'll, we can shrink that down to point. Two five. That should be nice and small enough. So we just test out the size. Perfect. And what we can do is we can simulate physics, and it should drop in to the world now. Perfect. Uh, on begin play, we want it to launch out when it's when it's created. So we want to add impulse to the sphere, and we want to give it a direction. Let's give it uh, ten, and then just just for argument's sake, we'll leave it just as that. So if we compile and save, and let's put it on the ground. Hopefully, we'll see it. Uh, okay, let's give it a little bit more oomph. So let's get a vector. Let's give it a multiply it node. Have this as a vector and this as a float. Okay, I'm going to do it too much. Perfect. Uh, so now we want to get a random, let's split this up, a random direction. So we want a random float and range from minus one to one. Put that into both. And then we can load up a cut again. So minus 0.2 to 0.2, it's nice to fill in with the numbers, and we will also So 
just fiddle with the numbers and we should have to try that again and it should hopefully perfect uh, now in the construction script you're going to copy the exact same uh, color aspect that we're going to have here so you want select on rarity and select material Can we get the sphere and we want to grab our item details break them up get the rarity change that for that so poor and it should always be poor by default So if we spawn actor from class on the create loot, call it our loot item VP. It's going to ask for an item details which we can make. Plug in the rarity and get actor location. Plug it into the transform so it'll always spawn on our looter section. And if I push play. We'll see that it uh, spawns out random loot. At the moment, they're all physics objects, so obviously uh, it does move when you kick them. But we'll shall change that in the next episode but this is how we've already created our loot objects so uh, again nice quick episode to start to to add to the series but uh, we shall move on from here very quickly thank you guys for watching